hoping. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I want to be in this. Just stop it. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, I would be if probably all these girls were all getting my face about who I like. You know, let me like who I want to like. And get off my case. Uh, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Ninja. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Well, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I, oh, before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Oh, she's upset. Wait, I didn't get to read her poem. Okay. Uh, ugh, Natsuki, the vermin girl. Eh, this one's alright. <coughs> I need to get her alright. Well, well, yeah. It doesn't blow me away, but there's nothing I really hate about it. It's just not really my style. I mean, it's fine. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Oh no, oh no, I don't want to be going after Sayori. I have Yuri in mind. Sayori has a type uh, all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, uh, fluffy... Oh. Oh, I forgot what she said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Spend so much time with someone like you. It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Oh, you're such a bitch. Actually, I'm just going to say, does anyone who's ever played this game actually go after Natsuki? Because she is such a hag. Oh, that was, that's, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I am supposed to show you my poem. Here. Oh, so I get to read her stupid poem. I don't care. I'll be, I'll be your beach. Your mind, oh, hang on. This is a bit longer. Oh my gosh, okay. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. <laughs> I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Ooh, it's quite, I actually quite like this one. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint, footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Oh, okay. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. Oh, it's a song. Well, it's pretty, it's like, I mean, I, you know, it's more like a, I feel like this is a song, like, from whatever. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Alright. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides... The beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write about, write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the messages later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick up a, t pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ah, you can really, you can, you can really see her doing that too, making us write about a simple topic and then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. 
At the very least, it was good practice. Alright, Monica, I'm gonna end with Yuri. See what she, my, my boo has to say. Hi, Ninja. What other tips do you have for me about this game? Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. It's really a lot of pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Why is everyone saying this? Ah, uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it's like the two of you are re really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think it's kind of that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you sure you're not reading into it too much? I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Oh, this one's a bit... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. Oh my gosh, what is this? The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star, or oh, the lost? Last, no, last. The <laughs> last dim star. Glimmering in the twilight sky. Or twilight sky? Twilight. Twilight. Oh my gosh. I am failing this. Until one day the wind ceases, ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill. Expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer of all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. Hmm. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that was what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Parallel? Because if we, if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? We're all just destroyed inside. I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you, you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's- Oh, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. 
because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Is this kind of like a thing because I feel these tips that she gives me are like handy for life. So, I, yeah, there you go. Thank you, Monica. Thanks for listening. Beauty. All right, let's see what she has to say. Ah, decided to try something different today. I guess so. Is that good or bad? Well, neither. I have my preferences, but it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's more important is exploring and discovering yourself. Stop being so vague! Just want me! That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Because I love you. Well, oh well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have, for me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Oh, you're so negative towards yourself, Yuri. Stop it. Oh, burp, burp, burp. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it out, making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. So you hate me. <laughs> I'm sorry that, sorry. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little, I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked, Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Oh, beach. That's yeah, right. Because yeah, her and Natsuki did a beach theme. Beach. <sighs> a marvel millions of years. Of oh, oh, a marvel millions of years in the making, with a womb of earth chaotically meets the surface under a clear blue sky an expanse of bliss but beneath grey rolling clouds an endless enigma the easiest world to get lost in is any is one where oh my gosh is one where everything can be found one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your, at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Ow, my eye, that's my eye. Ah, fuck. Drift forward and I return to earth forevermore. Oh, that was a sweet one, I think. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. Or the beach! I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? 
why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. It'll be you three and then he'll be like, where's Sayori? That's right. Oh. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why, oh. Why is the mood so weird today? Even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Whew. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. I wonder if that's another tip. Where the heck? Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some... Please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually just wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's feeling all right. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Oh, get off my case, Natsuki, you vermin. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, you're a dick. She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What does she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be, help uh, will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I, I'm useless. Oh gosh, stop it. No, not at all. Oh my gosh. <coughs> That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Natsuki, she is not having a bar of that. N now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know, so you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I love atmosphere. What? Okay. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Oh, cute. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Ninja. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> oh, wait. Did Natsuki say that? Of course she did. Bitch. Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would re I would be very appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club... <gasps> here it is! Here it is! Okay, how on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know who to how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Oh ho ho, the girls are fighting over me.